Hello and welcome to the Bridge Valley News Update for Monday, October the 5th. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to give us a like and a subscribe down below. This one is packed full of information, so you definitely want to stay until the end because we have some special guests with Spencer and Carla joining us, so definitely stay until the end. I want to remind you that next week, registration opens up for continuing students. So on Monday the 12th, it opens up for our veteran students, and then on Tuesday, it opens up for all continuing students. So definitely check in with your advisor and check to see the classes that you need to stay on track to graduate on time. I also want to mention something that you may have seen on the news last week. Um, I'll put the link below to a WSAZ article as well as a Governor Justice uh, Chancellor Tucker video that was on YouTube last week. So long story short, the West Virginia DHHR is under the order of the governor's office requiring that all West Virginia public higher ed institutions conduct COVID testing. Now, right off the bat, this is only for the folks that are coming to campus. So if all of your classes are virtual or you're working from home and you don't have to come to campus, this does not apply to you. We're not asking folks that don't have to come to campus to come on to campus. So those of you that do have to come on to campus for your classes, what this means is that we are expected to test 10% of our on-campus population each week. And I do expect this testing to start sometime within the next week. I don't have a specific day for you yet, but definitely stay tuned to your emails. That way you have the information first. And we will be asking that 10% sample population to come in and it will be free COVID testing. It is HIPAA protected, so your information will be kept private. And it's not one of the uncomfortable looking no swabs. It is a saliva test, so it's a little bit less invasive. So definitely stay tuned to your email. That way you know all the updates and you'll know whether or not you're being asked to come in. And if you have any questions at all, please visit the Bridge Valley Coronavirus page and we'll put that in the description box below as well. Now on to some of the activities for this week. We typically do, it's fall, it's a chili cook-off season. So the Student Government Association typically sponsors a chili cook-off and they are doing a virtual one this year. And I've been around the Bridge Valley family long enough to know that we have some good cooks in our midst. So I'm excited about this one. The way they're doing it, they're asking you to submit your recipe and also pictures. So get creative, be sure to check your email and submit your chili contributions. I also want to mention this Thursday, we're going to be hosting a voter registration at the GRID in Montgomery. Also this week on Friday, it is going to be drive-in movie night at the GRID. The September movie unfortunately had to be postponed and it is now this Friday on the 9th. So be sure to come out. It's going to be the Mr. Rogers movie, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. So very family friendly and be sure to put it on your calendar. Now, I'd like to ask one of our special guests to join us. Spencer Poling will be joining us talking about accessibility services and the resources that you have available. Hi, my name is Spencer Poling, and I'm the Director of Accessibility and Support Services within the Student Services Division at Bridge Valley. My main role on campus is to make sure that students who have documented disabilities receive the accommodations they have requested in the classroom. Some documented disabilities that I have worked with are ADHD, learning disabilities, dyslexia, deaf, hard of hearing, blindness or low vision, depression or anxiety, or a medical or physical disability. I also can work with temporary disabilities if you find yourself in that situation throughout the semester. Some accommodations I can provide for these students are extended test time, alternate testing locations, audio recorders for the class lectures, a note taker. I also can help with evacuation assistance if you need an interpreter or a hearing device within the classroom and anything else that you might have used in the past. We also accept IEPs or 504 plans as long as they are dated within the last five years for your documentation, as well as a letter from a licensed healthcare professional. If you have any questions at all or feel that you might qualify for our services, please reach out to me at 304-205-6725 or you can email me at spencer.polling 
P-O-L-I-N-G at bridgevalley.edu. Thank you, Spencer. And now we have some exciting announcements from Phi Theta Kappa, which is one of our honor societies. So I'll turn it over to Carla. Thank you, Michelle. Before we get into the Golden Scholarship Opportunity nominees, I'd like to give you guys some information about Phi Theta Kappa. For more than 100 years, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society has helped millions of high achieving college students reach their full potential. They don't just recognize academic success, but they also give students opportunities to enhance professional development and leadership skills. In addition to that, they can explore career paths and also earn over a million dollars in scholarships. As a member of the Bridge Valley Alpha Tau Lambda chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, you have a chance to attend state conferences, national conferences, and also fellowship with your peers and an opportunity to meet students all throughout the world that are involved in Phi Theta Kappa. If you received an invitation from headquarters or myself, go ahead and go out to the website, take a look at all the opportunities that you are afforded as a PTK member, and use that code that you received from headquarters to become a member of Phi Theta Kappa. And now on to the Golden Scholarship Opportunity nominees. We would like to congratulate the following students that received nominations for the Golden Scholarship Opportunity. The Golden Scholarship Opportunity waives the fees for students and allows them a membership to Phi Theta Kappa. Congratulations goes to Matthew Adams of Welding, Darlene Chase of Human Services and Rehab Studies, and Lavonda Sigmund of Pre-Nursing. Congratulations, and you should receive an email from me shortly. In addition to that, we would like to tell current members of Phi Theta Kappa to remind you guys that the scholarship applications are now open and the scholarship applications close the 3rd of December. You will need to go ahead and go out to your Phi Theta Kappa account, log in, and go ahead and begin applying for these scholarships. Once you apply for these scholarships, this puts you in the running to receive recognition for the PTK All USA Academic Team. Once we receive all of the folks that have received that have filled out scholarship applications, the college will go through a nomination process and choose four students to be members of the All USA Academic Team. Once you receive recognition from the All USA Academic Team, you are also put in the running for the national all USA Coca-Cola academics team. So please go ahead, go out, take a look at those scholarships and apply. It's very, very possible for you to receive those scholarships. We've had students in the past receive several of those different scholarships. So good luck and I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe and mask up Bridge Valley. Thanks, Carla. Thank you for joining in and I will see you next week.